Hi, welcome back to my channel. Um, today we're going to be talking about the books I read in 2023. Starting, I read 32 books in total this year. I actually feel like I've read probably 30 of those books because like all the way through. But the first one is All He'll Ever Be by Willow Winters. It is like a Beauty and the Beast retelling slash mafia. And he kidnaps his enemy's daughter. He pretty much fell in love with her. It's a four books in one series. So it's merciless, heartless, breathless, and endless. All in one big book called All He'll Ever Be. I read it on Kindle. Um, I read all four of those books like within a week. It was really good. It has a good storyline. Um, it has a bit of spice in it, but just take that away. But <laughs> all the rest of the book was awesome. Um, he kidnaps her, keeps her in a cellar, and then he finally lets her out of the cellar, but she's still trapped in this huge house. Willow Winters is a really good author. You really should just check her out. I read quite a few of her books in the past, but that was the first book four books of this year. Moving on to Akatar, I read book one through three. Book one, I gave a, a four stars. I really liked it. I liked, um, like anybody, you fell in love with Tamlin. And something just didn't feel right whenever I was reading the first book and everything. And then I read book two. Obviously book two is my favorite. And I, that book two got a five star. Um, and then I read book three, which I gave a 3.5. I, I didn't finish it. I liked it, but I don't think I'll be continuing the series. I just love the angels. Anywho, so I don't think I'll be continuing the series, not because it isn't a good book, not because it isn't a good series. I just felt like it really wasn't for me. But you never know. I might eventually finish it because I hate leaving book series unfinished. It starts with us by Colleen Hoover. I gave that a four stars. It was book two with us. I loved that one. And that was book one of the whole series. And I waited months and months and months for It Starts With Us to come out. And I was a little bit disappointed. I felt like it could have been better, but... <laughs> Behind the Wand by Tom Felton. I gave this one a five stars. It, he talks about his life on the Harry Potter set. He talks about his life in general. But I loved this book. If, this is like one of the first autobiographies. I guess that is technically what it is. Um, memoir. I loved it so much. Which we love Harry Potter. We love Tom Felton. <laughs> The Pink Foiling. I read all through this within the first day that I got it. I gave it a five stars. I really like it. I really recommend it. He actually puts pictures in here. Emma Watson. And him and Emma Watson. I can't remember what it was. I think they called each other rubber ducks or something. So, like, it's just a sweet book. I recommend it. But I read Forget Me Not by Willow Winters. This is like a psychological kidnapping old best friends kind of book I guess that's kind of what it's called so when she's when the girl was little she got kidnapped by this boy's father and you know things happened and he helps to get her set free well later on in life that same boy comes back and he kidnaps the same girl and he has split personality disorder. And I was really confused throughout the whole book until about 70% through. And then I realized that he has split personality disorder. This isn't two people that I'm that's going on in the book. It's one person. Willow Winter says that this is like her favorite book that she has ever read or ever written. And I can understand why, but I was a little bit confused, but once I understood, I understood, and then I liked it. I gave that one a three stars. Moving on to Birthday Girl by Penelope Douglas. This one was a good one. It was a little odd. It has age gap, boyfriend, or dad falls in love with son's girlfriend, and son's girlfriend 
falls in love with boyfriend's dad. <laughs> um, it's a little bit of like a forced proximity, touch her, I'll kill you kind of deal a little bit. It's good. I liked it. I felt like it had a good plot. Um, I feel like I also, it could have been, they could have fell in love faster. It kind of drug on a little bit. Too much for me. I got that one a 3.5 to a 4 stars. I had the two books out of the Twisted series, Twisted Love and Twisted Games. Twisted Love, I gave a 3.5. I felt like it didn't have enough plot. Um, I felt like that one was... I don't know, more drive towards like spice in a way instead of like a plot and you've got to have a plot or it just don't, I don't know. I don't care too much for spicy books so I like a plot. <laughs> it didn't have a plot. <laughs> then I read Twisted Games and that's the second book in the series. I gave that one a four stars. I really liked it. And um, this one follows a girl who falls in love, who's a princess. Her name is Bridget. I always thought it was really cute, so all throughout the book, I was thinking, oh, her name is Bridget. My name's Bridget. So, um, but she falls in love with her bodyguard. They're not supposed to fall in love. Um, she fell in love with him first, and I think he fell harder. I think that might be how it kind of was. But it was really good. I really liked it. Then I read one of my most tabbed and annotated books, yet the most boring, it was a disappointing book. I, it is, If He Had Been With Me by Laura Nolan, I gave this a two star slash three star. Um, I don't know. It was supposed to have been sad. It was supposed to have been sad, but it was more drug on and boring. It felt like I was reading a little bit too much of a kitty book than <laughs> kitty. <laughs> he likes the cats. The cats don't like him. Um, he actually got tore up by a kitty cat on his nose. He learned the hard way to stay away from the cats. But I feel like it was too childish of a book was DNF'd I don't know how many times but I figured if I annotated it I would like it better it didn't help so then I read Don't Fall For Me by Kelsey Ray I gave that one a four stars um it is a boyfriend's best friend falls in love with a girlfriend it has a little bit of hockey in it I, I, I can't remember it much but I know I really liked it it had a little bit of hockey in it but it did follow the hockey it did have a good background story um they're in college. You know. It, it was good. Credence by Penelope Douglas. It was a very odd book. But I did give it a five star. <laughs> um, if you've ever read this book or know anything of this book, you know it's a little odd. Um, she falls in love with her step-uncle. And then she turns around she falls in love with his two sons. And then she ends up being with one of his sons. Sorry, spoiler. Um, I don't know. It was a good book, but, and the reason why I think it was such a good book is because I kept pushing in the back of my mind that they was related, but it, they was by some marriage, so still don't make it any better. Still odd, but I kept pushing that to the back of my mind that and she was related to them. So I guess that's probably why I liked it so good. Um, I don't know about it. I don't know. Then I read two books that was supposed to be super duper popular this year, which is Haunting and Hunting Adeline. I gave them both a 3.5. I'm combining the two. Um, I read all of book one and then I've read half of about 70%, 60, 70% of book two. Just a bit much. If you know, you know. I don't know. But I ended up having to stop reading those. The Housemaid by Frida McFadden? McFadden? I gave that one a six star. That's one of my six star ratings. That is one of my top three of the whole year. Um, if not my main top book of the whole year. That book was awesome. 
I read it with it or I listened to it on audio within a full day and I painted my whole kitchen while I listened to it and I swear to you I think that this book was the only thing that got me through painting that whole kitchen in one day um it was awesome it had so many plot twists it had so many twists and turns I can remember that book and just like almost every detail of it it felt like I was watching a movie in my head um that is, that is one of the books that I wish I could read again for the first time it was really good I really highly 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 recommend it Punk 57 by Penelope Douglas I give this one a four star it is a slow burn a childhood to best friends to lovers I liked it it had a good story it had a good plot line and everything um and it did keep me interested but I felt like it was missing a few things then I read after by Anna Todd this is one of my most favorite book series slash tv series of all time I in here this follows the relationship of Harden and Tessa and you have a love-hate relationship with Harden. I love Harden, but I hate Harden. It's a very toxic relationship. Um, they're in college. It's just something you need to experience at least once. Um, I don't know. It's just like, they're. it's one of my most favorite series of all time. And then I moved on to the second book in the series, which is After We Collide, or After We Collided. Um, I gave this one a five star as well. I jumped from book one to book two automatically. But I listened to part book two partly on audio. It just, these are books are so thick and so big and it's hard for me to get through them sometimes. I can read the smaller books easily and fly through them fast with these thicker books. They're a little bit harder sometimes. But I highly recommend this entire series. I'm not going to finish the series at number two. There's a five books in the whole series. I plan on reading the rest of the series in 2024, so stay tuned for that. Okay, and this one is another book that a lot of people will rave about, and it's A Good Girl's Guide to Murder. I didn't like it. I DNF'd it. I didn't even rate it, um, and I don't like giving away my books or getting rid of any of my books because I like keeping them as like achievements for my bookshelf but I gave away that book I gave away two books and that was one of them and I didn't like it and I don't think I plan on reading it I don't know I gave it a try but I didn't like it I think I got maybe two chapters three chapters in and I decided I just DNF so finding you by Leanne Hendren. I gave that one a four stars. This one is a military secret love brother's best friend kind of trope. It's just a really sweet and good book. I really recommend it. It has good plot. Then The Silent Patient by Alex, whatever his last name is. <laughs> um, I gave this one a 3.5. I liked it, but it was a bit drawn out. It was good, but I kind of guessed the ending and it kind of ruined it for me. And the third most top highly rated book of the whole year is A Thousand Boy Kisses by Tilly Cole. I gave it a six star. It is the saddest book I have ever read. I don't ever want to read a book like that ever again in my entire life, <laughs> but it's the best book I've ever read, I think, about so far. The plot and the backstory and the falling in love and everything like that was beautiful, but it is a very sad book. The girl ends up dying. Um, he vows to never love again, and he doesn't. And this book was just so sad that I had to take a break because I was bawling my eyes out so bad. And I was like, maybe, and I cried throughout the whole book, kind of, but towards the end, about the last three chapters, I had to stop 
because I was sobbing so hard I couldn't breathe. But it was just an awesome, awesome, awesome book. That's one book I would love to have read again for the first time. But all at the same time, I don't never want to read anything like that ever again. Reminders of Him by Colleen Hoover. This one is a little bit of a sad book. Um, it had good plot. I don't think about it. I kind of can't remember everything that was in it. I don't know if I would recommend it, but I did give it a four point five stars. So it had been super good for me to get a 4.5. I read The Sweetest Oblivion by Daniel Laurie. It had great plot. Is enemies to lover, a grumpy sunshine, mafia, forced proximity slash forced marriage. She fell for him, but he fell harder. You touch her all. You kind of vibe to it. I gave it a five star. It was a really good book. Um, it had some good plot and everything to it. I feel like everything was well written out. Welcome to the Dark Side by Gianna Darling. I gave this one a five star. This is a biker club, age gap, touch I'll kill you. She fell first, he fell harder kind of book as well. I've finished this one like the last week of December. I loved it. It was an awesome book. It just, I don't know. I really like it. I really, really recommend it. Not a lot of people would talk about that book, but I would, I will rave about that book. It was awesome. Awesome. Then I read The Island by Natasha Preston. I lended this book to a family member to read. I would have kept the book. I loved the book. I love Natasha Preston. I've only read two books from her ever, but I have almost all her other books besides I think like two or three. Um... It was a mystery thriller. It has a lot of twists. It had me guessing the whole time, and I do recommend it. This is where it ends by Marky Kemp. I think that's how you say his last name. I gave the book of two stars. I wanted to DNF it, but I pushed through, and I felt like I kind of just was just staring at pages for the longest time. It follows a school shooting, and it was sad, but I did not like it. The Cellar. By Natasha Preston. This is the second book I read. This has kidnapping, psychological thriller. I still think about it. Um, he, this man kidnaps these four girls and he names them after flowers and he keeps them in a cellar and he's like a germaphobe. It was really good though. Um, it does have a sad slash happy ending to it, which was weird because I heard that all her books was unhappy endings like it they was all had not a not a bad ending but a sad ending or unhappy because that's how the island ended it didn't have a happy ending it left you kind of on a cliffhanger but this one didn't it kind of wrapped everything up but that was all the books i read in 2023 i think it was how many did i say 32 32 books for the whole year I want to try my best to read some more in 2024, but we'll see. We'll see. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. Jesus loves you and bye.